Hello everyone, this is Cindy Seidelman once again with another brand new review here on Game Show Gumbo. And we're getting some new stuff this week. Um, three new shows debuted this week, one, two of them on Fox. And one of them, which was supposed to debut next week in Australia, got bumped up this week. Because Gladiators Australia was, well, they fucked it up. Essentially, they fucked it up. But, let's not focus on that anymore. It's done. It's burnt off. Somebody was probably made a gladiator, and will probably never see the fruits of their labor come to life. Such a shame. Not really. We'll talk more about that at the end of the year. Moving on. Fox, after the NFC Championship game, debuted Season 3 of another Gordon Ramsay cooking show. Now, you might guess, Hell's Kitchen back? No, that just wrapped up. Kitchen Nightmares would not be covered here because we don't follow pure reality shows. So, September 28th was the debut of Season 3 of Next Level Chef. Now, if you haven't seen Next Level Chef, what happens usually is 15 chefs are brought in, they're divvied up into three teams of five, one of them would be mentored by Gordon. One of them would be mentored by Richard Blaze. And the other one would be mentored by Naisha Arrington. They didn't do that this year. Instead, 24 chefs have come in. And they've been divvied up into three groups of eight. Professional chefs, home cooks, social media chefs. And for the first three episodes... Each of those groups are going to be pared down, and the top five get entered into the Next Level Chef draft, which will take place in Episode 4, and the competition starts from there. I like it when a show spruces up the format to where, where, and spruces up where it makes a whole bunch of sense. Next Level Chef has been getting a lot of attention on social media, so this does make a lot of sense. And plus, a lot of shows that have come out have tried to do uh, professional chefs versus home chefs or um, kid chefs versus adult chefs or something along those lines. And the way that Next Level Chef is doing this right now with professional versus homemade versus social media, it does make a lot of sense. Especially in a straight cooking competition. I know there are a couple of social media chefs that appeared in the past couple of seasons of Hell's Kitchen and they didn't fare too well because that is a professional chef environment and you have to work well as a team and live. Social media chefs don't really know how to do that. So that's why when you saw the last couple of seasons of Hell's Kitchen, usually the social media known chefs were always the first or second boot. Here on Next Level Chef, the first episode is dedicated to those social media chefs, and it shows off what they could do under certain circumstances. And just to break it down in how the these first three episodes are happening, all eight chefs will start on the bottom floor with the worst ingredients and worst utensils and worst everything. They have 30 seconds to grab the ingredients from the elevator, or from the platform, I should say, because the elevator is the main thing that goes up and down uh, for the contestants. Um, but the platform, which houses all the ingredients, comes down, and they have 30 seconds to grab as much stuff as they can and much stuff as they think they could use for their dish. After 30 seconds, they can't grab anymore, and then they have to, and then they have 20. 20 minutes to make their dish after 20 minutes is up the other two chefs the other two mentors come in and they taste the food on the bottom floor it is naisha richard blaze has the medium floor has the middle floor and of course gordon ramsay has the top floor and i like it i like this way of setting up the draft because it allows us as viewers to get a good idea on how what these how these people 
uh, react and give us something to cheer about for how they're going to do in the main competition and kind of get an idea on what they're going to do in the main competition. So I like I like the draft idea. I think it's really good. I like the draft idea. I like the qualifiers. I think it's well done. And another thing that I am thankful for for this brand new season of Next Level Shaft, it's only an hour. It's not two hours like every other reality show has to be in the debut. We covered a couple of them. We're probably going to be dealt with a two-hour debut of Farmer Wants a Wife uh, coming up Thursday when that debuts. So, I thank you, Next Level Chef. I thank you, Gordon Ramsay, for uh, not giving us too much of a good thing. So, what I also love is the way that the um, contestant profiles are interspersed seamlessly like we get like 15 30 about 15 20 seconds of who the chef is and what they're about and then it's a seamless cut back to we either hear gordon or richard or naisha go 17 minutes chef 15 minutes 10 minutes something along those lines so when we get to the tasting all three chefs come in now, while one of the hosts is actually with them on the floors, uh, the other two are backstage watching on monitors because they also got to get a look at how these chefs act and how well they could be coached uh, for when the draft comes in. And on each floor, whoever, whoever's dish is the worst is eliminated. The, uh, the rest of the chefs move on up. And it's important because we had a nice little story with this with this episode because the chef that was eliminated last um, was in the bottom for all three challenges. Um, but nerves got the better of the chef when they... It also shows off how important the grab is when we get to the, uh, the first part of the cook, which is the grab. They didn't grab any vegetables or only a couple of sprigs of vegetables and it doomed them. It's like what happens in Cutthroat Kitchen where if you have a bad shop, um, you're doomed. And we've seen that happen many a times on Cutthroat Kitchen. So I kind of want to say that Next Level Chef is sort of a take on Cutthroat but not really as as blatant as a take on Cutthroat. And I could always see that there's always going to be influences in this season, and it looks like social media is going to have an influence. Um, I don't know if a social media chef is going to win this year, um, judging by the chefs who did qualify. Um might have to see how the professional home chefs are at the beginning and maybe I could get a good prediction on who will win. Another, I'll give a couple of knocks, um, just to be fair. Um, it's not all positive when it comes to Next Level Chef. It does the usual Fox thing of, uh, before a lot of shows do this, a lot of Food Network shows do this and it's annoying, um, before announcing the Eliminated Chef, it goes straight to a commercial break, and I just hate that. You know, I know it's supposed to be a hook to get you to stick around, but 99 times out of 100, we pretty much know who's going home. So it doesn't need to happen like that, especially in this episode where um, a couple of them were really clear-cut and who was going home. Another thing that I do want to say is they made the bottom floor really, really bad. Like, you saw dented pots and pans and stuff like that. So, like, I've seen bad kitchens and that, I mean, that kitchen on the bottom floor is not Kitchen Nightmares-esque. 
it's worse. At least some of the uh, kitchens on Kitchen Nightmares at least have decent equipment. But I understand what they're going for with the bottom and with it being awful. But there you go. Um, so that's Next Level Chef. Um, I dismissed it out of hand where I did not like the first season. I did not like the first couple of episodes of the first season, so I skipped the second season. Um, it does look like season three has fixed quite a few of those bugs so far. And it looks like a really good cooking show. And I don't know what's going to happen. I it's, usual time slot is Thursdays. I don't know if it's going to be moved to Fridays starting in 2025 because SmackDown's going away. That's the overarching argument. Uh, sorry to go off on a tangent with this review, but that's uh, something that we need to discuss. Um, maybe we save that for another video. Is If I'm Fox, what do you do about Fridays? Um, do you move all the Gordon Ramsay stuff to Fridays, which you had previously before you moved it to like Thursdays before SmackDown came in? Or do you make that the new night for what you would have had for Saturdays? Um, back in the 90s, do you make that the night of... Uh, you pull cops from Fox Nation and pair that up with the revival of America's Most Wanted. So with that being said... Um, we'll talk more about that later. But with this show, I'm going to give it a B plus. I really like the first uh, episode of the brand new season. I hope it does well. Um, it all depends on how well the execution is going to be when we get to the draft and the actual competition begins. Anyway, that's going to do it for this review of Next Level Chef. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Next review that you'll see here will either be um, Deal or No Deal Australia or it will be um, the uh, 2023 Patrick Wayne Award winning worst show of the year, Farmer Wants a Wife, season two. God help me. Anyway, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Take care, everybody. See you next time.